big industry up here in Texas and Oklahoma is still farming and agriculture. And um, over the years, um, you know, the population of feral hogs has just exploded. And it just wreaks havoc on what the farmers, how they make their livelihood, whether it's destroying croplands or eating cattle feed, does a lot of damage to their land and cattle feeders and things like that. Typically, um, feral hogs can have two to three litters a year, so they're reproducing extremely fast. Texas Parks and Wildlife put out an article saying that if we don't kill or harvest at least 66% of the feral hog population year over year, then it's going to continue to grow only seems to be going in one direction no matter how much you try and do about it we've had a feral hog problem in texas for a long time now and it just seems to keep spreading and spreading so we've seen it explode in oklahoma over the last 10 years it's gotten big um, they're in arkansas mississippi missouri all over the south now it seems to only be going in one direction and i think there's large feral hog populations in 39 of the 50 states now and they're saying that that's only going to go up feral hogs are a varmint in the eyes of Texas Parks and Wildlife, so there's no bag limit, there's no hunting license actually in, in Texas that you need for it. You're allowed to shoot them 24-7. You can use night vision, thermal scopes, rifle, bow, trapping, so there's lots of methods that they give us to go out and harvest these, these animals. What we've seen that works best is using uh, rifles with thermal scopes and hunting suppressed. We scan our fields that we've been asked to try and keep under control. We look for large groups and we want to knock as many pigs out of a group at one time as we can. Pigs can't control their body temperature, so during the day, especially down here in Texas and Oklahoma, they're down in creek beds rolling around in mud, they're a lot harder to find. So we like looking for them out in open fields where we can make the most out of each trip. As soon as you kind of take your foot off the gas, that population starts to blow up again. With all the farmland in the Midwest and how quickly pigs can adapt to their surroundings, we've seen them change a lot in Texas over the last 10 to 20 years. You know, I imagine they're just gonna keep going north. If there's good cropland, the hogs are gonna find it. I think that they're just gonna keep expanding and becoming an even bigger and bigger problems for farmers across the country. It's really on us as hunters and conservationists to do our part because you know that's that's a big part of what we say we're about. You know that's why we hunt deer, that's why we hunt turkeys, that's why we hunt waterfowl and now it's time for us to do that with feral hogs.